Good evening and welcome to all. Thank you for making the time to be with us at the first virtual JVN Celebration of Volunteering Awards. If someone had told me this time last year that we would be holding a virtual event, I might have told them that they had gone virtually mad. So much has changed in under a year. This has truly been a turbulent year for the world and JVN is no exception. As you would have seen, this year's awards are held in honour of our dearly lost chairman, David Lazarus, one of the early victims of COVID. I could speak a great length about David, but tonight, as our sponsors and award givers will be privileged to hear from Leon Lazarus, David's father, and Gabby Lazarus, David's wife, on behalf of his family. But I simply have to say something of David who believed in the power of volunteering with passion and cared so deeply for everyone that volunteered. David set such an extraordinary example throughout his life, but in the latter years, 
He had major physical disabilities, but his drive and passion was never diminished. David, we miss you deeply, and you have our promise as trustees and the team of JVN to continue with passion the work of JVN in which you believed so strongly. To conclude my opening remarks, I want to thank Nikki and her team for their tireless efforts during this crazy year. Our trustees who have been so supportive in keeping the ambition of JVN and ensuring we continue to make a difference. But tonight is not about us, it's about the volunteers and the community, the charities that inspire them with roles and opportunities. Tonight we are able and privileged to honour 72 award winners, four exceptional awards, and celebrate the extraordinary impact that volunteers have had during this pandemic, within our community and outside our community alike. Please don't be shy and give us lots of feedback during the evening and encourage and show gratitude for the volunteers and winners tonight. Thank you, and I will speak to you later. Thank you very much, Daniel. Honoured guests, Rabonim, award winners, friends. A very good evening to everyone, and a very warm welcome to the Jewish Volunteering Network Celebration of Volunteering Awards. Thank you so much for being with us. It's really lovely to be here, and I'm delighted to be hosting this event that celebrates volunteering across the Jewish and wider communities. Now, at the start of our event this evening, we're going to take a moment to recognise and to remember David Lazarus, your hugely respected leader, who sadly passed away in April of last year as a result of contracting COVID-19. Here tonight are David's father, Leon, and his wife, Gabby, who would like to share a few words about David and for his love of volunteering and JVN. Good evening, everyone. It is hard to believe that our son David was taken from us almost a year ago. His life brutally cut short by this dreadful virus at 63 years of age. It has been such a challenging year for everyone, but coming to terms with our personal loss is an added layer of unbearable sadness for us. Berta and I would like to share a few words about David with you. As a child, David gave us great joy with all his youthful antics and our house seemed to be the meeting point for all the local kids. He had true, many true and loyal friends dating back to his childhood and continued to acquire new friends throughout his life. When he was 30, David was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. This was such a tremendous shock to him and to all of us. He tried to keep the worst of it away from us, to support and to protect us, as he always did. He refused to tell anyone apart from family and a very few number of close friends, until it became noticeable in his mid-40s, and even then he was reluctant to talk about it. 24 years ago, David had met Gabby on a blind date set up by their respective sisters-in-law. During these years, along came Mika, now 22, and then Lily, now 19. David shines through both of them. As his illness progressed and he became less physically able, David continued to work and live his daily life without complaint, but with pride, dignity, and a positive attitude. David had a tremendous mind and depth of character. Good, caring, kind, strong, brave, and inspirational. He was interesting and fun to be with as well as interested in others, always trying to help others and empowering people to help themselves. He was always there for everyone, family, 
friends, friend of friends, colleagues, and business associates. Making time to listen, offer careful and advice and support. People appreciated that they were important to him. Throughout his life, David always put family and community first, but charity came next. He was always focused on those less fortunate. Both he and Gabby enjoyed being actively involved with several charities and voluntary organizations. Last, but by no means least, David's greatest passion, J.V.N. A trustee since its launch, he took over the chairmanship 70 years ago. Helping to bring JVN to its recognized position in pro promoting and expanding volunteering in the Jewish community and beyond. Our cherished charities could not function without the help of our wonderful volunteers. And we know that David would strongly want us all to consider continuing to support JVN in any way we can. Thank you. Please don't make a fuss about me. I can hear David saying this to me with one eyebrow raised as I start to write these words. So I'm going to make the kind of fuss that he would approve of by highlighting his passion for promoting volunteering and recognizing the selfless dedication of all JVN volunteers. David understood that volunteering was a win-win situation a way for individuals to support each other and empower both the volunteer and the person receiving support. He loved these award ceremonies because they are really inspirational and make us all feel better about ourselves. David had an incredible presence and the most persuasive of voices, holding the room with an astute turn of voice, astute turn of phrase, a twinkle in his eye, always questioning with warmth and support, and totally focused on improving best practice, be that in the boardroom, on a building site, or surrounded by family and friends. David encouraged all of us to be the best version of ourselves and to have a social conscience, which was why he was so committed to JVN, its inclusivity, its value in the Jewish community and wider charity sectors. He was excited about its vision for the future and wanted in particular to address the growing issue of loneliness, now more than ever a serious national challenge affecting all age groups. David participated in a loneliness action group and could see the benefit of volunteers befriending and mentoring lonely people and thereby encouraging them to volunteer too. There is a David-shaped piece missing from the jigsaw of my life, but his legacy is strong and clear to everyone who loved him, respected him, and admired him. As one of my nieces said so beautifully, we should all have a little more David in our lives. We can do that by volunteering and supporting JVN so that this wonderful charity can continue to change lives and enhance well-being. I salute the nominees, award winners, and everyone who has given their time to others in this most challenging of years. And David would want to make a big fuss of you all. Thank you. Thank you so much to Leon and Gabby for that very moving tribute to David. Well, tonight will be such a great accolade to all the amazing work that David did in the community. Well, let's now welcome all of the winners who have been recognised by their charities as Volunteers of the Year, Volunteer Teams of the Year and Lifetime Achievers. We've all had our personal experiences of COVID-19 this year and JVN really wanted to recognise all the amazing, innovative work that has been going on to make sure that we all still have the opportunity to volunteer, serve our communities and to recognise the extraordinary impact of volunteering during the COVID pandemic.
Many charities have had to pivot their volunteering practices to survive and in recognition of some of the creative and innovative solutions that have been established, JVN are proud to announce a special award this year for innovation in volunteering during the pandemic award. Overall, JVN received nominations for over 70 winners, all of whom are recognised tonight. You can find a list of all the winners and our fantastic supporters on jvnawards.org.uk. Throughout this event, please do tag us on social media using hashtag jvnawards2020 and cheer on all of our winners in the chat room that will be available on screen throughout the event. Everyone who is nominated, of course, is a winner of their charity's award, but we have established an independent judging panel to decide the outstanding award winner for each category. Over the next hour or so, we're going to be awarding the trophies category by category and have some surprise messages throughout the evening, so do keep watching. Before introducing Dame Mary Marsh, head of the judging panel who'll take us through the judging process for the awards, on behalf of JVN, I'd like to thank everyone who sponsored and supported this event. Without your support, this event would not be possible. It's also not too late to still donate. Throughout the evening, details are going to be on the screen if you'd like to do donate to this amazing organisation that does so much for volunteering in the communities. Now, over to you, Dame Mary. Welcome, everybody. I'm very pleased to uh, be with you today. Uh, I'm Dame Mary Marsh, the chair of the Independent Judging Panel once again, and I'm delighted to be part of this very special celebration. We were all together only last December, just over a year ago, uh, doing the awards live. I think that was probably one of my last live big events uh, before the, the ghastly year of the pandemic. The whole way in which you make a difference by volunteering and difference to other people's lives, it's really, really important. And you get involved in some new different activities by doing it. You learn from being a volunteer, new, new contexts, new uh, situations, and new ways of, of getting things done. And of course, we stay connected with each other by volunteering. It's a wonderful communal activity and you meet new people too. Um, perhaps some of you in your volunteering over the last year have been a bit on a personal journey in this rather difficult time we've had, but maybe it's opened up for you some new directions, some new opportunities to continue volunteering, or maybe a life change of, of what you might do in your employment. I've known a lot of people have changed direction through their volunteering. So I look forward to uh, celebrating the outstanding ones, but also celebrating everybody who was nominated. Thank you very much, Dame Mary. Well, now onto the awards themselves. Our first award is for the Volunteer of the Year. Now we had a fantastic 23 winners from charities this year, and we want to honor you all. For me, one of the silver linings of the dark clouds of the coronavirus pandemic has been selfless and altruistic volunteering. I would like to congratulate JVN for everything that you do. And on the occasion of the JVN Celebration of Volunteering Awards, I would like to express my gratitude to all of our simply incredible volunteers within the Jewish community. I am in awe of what you have achieved and what, please God, you will continue to achieve. Thank you so much for your selflessness, for your consideration of others, for being there in their time of need, for going the extra mile under very challenging and difficult circumstances. You are an inspiration to all of us and on behalf of our entire community, thank you very much. My name is Alice Wilcock and I head up the Mayor's Volunteering and Social Action Team at City Hall. I'm here to say a really massive thank you to all of you for all the help and support that you've provided during the pandemic. 
I know that the determination, the resilience and the courage that you have shown in supporting Londoners through your volunteering activities has been hugely appreciated by so many people. The Mayor would like to thank you so much and so would I. Thank you. Well now on to our winners who are going to be announced by JVN's president, Rosalind Preston OBE. And it's my pleasure and privilege to be the one to read out the names of our outstanding award winners during this year. I'm delighted to introduce the charity awards for the winners of the Volunteer of the Year. Susan Edelman of the Paperweight Trust, Jack Baum of the Together Plan, Leora Erez of Wheatso UK, Ian Fagelson of World Jewish Relief, Geoffrey Fox of Ajax, Ellie Gertz of JW3, Ruth Green of UJIA, Harold and Vicky Harris of Raphael JCS, Neil Isaacson of Norwood, Joanne Carblitz of Stonegrove Community Trust, Leonard Klaal of British Emuna, Robert Koch of Age UK Westminster, Rebecca Lees of Best Beginnings, Steve Newton of AJR, Peter Phillips of Ambulance Wish Foundation, Jane Ponton of Tate, Joe Rosenthal of Jewish Women's Aid, David Sagel of Goods for Good, Eric Salomon of Resource, Ingrid Siegel of Mitzvah Day, Susie Simons of Royal Free Charity, Barbara Wallace of Jewish Blind and Disabled, Annette Weinberg of Feast With Us. I want to thank all the volunteers who have helped our community and the world at large this year. The commitment, enthusiasm and selflessness of all those who have sought new ways to support others has been inspiring. This year has been exhausting for so many, and yet you all have not only found the energy to keep going, but to keep others going, delivering the most precious of all gifts, hope. Thank you. Hello everybody. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone uh, at the JVN Celebration of Volunteering Awards. Thanks for everything you do. Oh, it's Matt Lucas, by the way. Sorry, just in case you thought it was Boris Johnson. Thank you to all of our gold sponsors and of course to Wall Legacy for sponsoring the Volunteer of the Year Award. Now, our next award is Volunteer Team of the Year. It's often not just an individual volunteer that helps at a charity, but often an entire team of people to work on a project. I'm delighted to be sending you this message to celebrate all you've achieved in the last year. 2020 will be remembered as an incredibly difficult year, but also as a year when communities supported each other and when many people took the first steps to volunteering. I know the real difference your work is having. It's great to hear that people are engaging with your work through your website and that you are supporting new people out into befriending and providing food deliveries in their local areas. I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has volunteered this year as well as congratulating all the nominees and the winners for their work. This event is a good reminder that it is faith that motivates many to play a part in our communities and this should be celebrated. Whilst COVID-19 restrictions continue to impact our country, I know that the Jewish community will continue to provide invaluable support for the vulnerable throughout. I also want to take a moment to send my condolences on the passing of David Lazarus last year. I'm sure he'd be very proud of you and all your outstanding work this year. 
His legacy is your continued work connecting volunteers and supporting charities. My congratulations again for everything you have achieved over the last year. I wanted to thank you on behalf of all of us, our communities and our members, for your incredible hard work, dedication and commitment to helping others. This has obviously been an extremely challenging and difficult year for many, many people. And I have no doubt that the commitment and efforts that you have provided have helped them get through it. So really on behalf of all of us, thank you for everything that you do. And I hope you enjoy your evening. Well, now on to our winners who are going to be announced again by JVN's president, Rosalind Preston, OBE. I'm delighted to introduce the charity award winners for the volunteer team of the year. Alice Darkness to Light Project of Alice Synagogue, Faith in Action, Feed Our Families of Caritas, Grand Mentors Young People of Volunteering Matters, Impact Ambassadors of Project Impact, JBCS Counselors of Jewish Bereavement Counseling Service, Kishiron Chala Delivery Team of Kishiron, Lily's Legacy Project Team of Liberal Judaism, LJS Drop-In Management Committee of the Liberal Jewish Synagogue, Meal Delivery Team of Jamie, Meals on Wheels Jewish Care, New Chapters Langdon, Object Talk Volunteers of the Jewish Museum London, the Yellow Candle Committee, Maccabi GB, United Synagogue Hebra Kadisha, the United Synagogue, Virtual Tutoring Coordinators of GIFT, Volunteer Drivers of Camp Simcha, Wednesday Afternoon Socials of High Cancer Care, Youth Assembly Committee of the Board of Deputies. On behalf of the S&P Sephardi community, I want to thank the Jewish Volunteering Network and all the volunteers who have given of their time and care to support the community. We thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for everything that you do and continue to do. You are Malachim, you are divine messengers, and it is your care and concern and efforts that hold the community together. May you all be blessed and may your merit stand for us all. Hazaku Baruch. It's such a privilege to join you at this celebration of volunteering awards hosted by JVN. Thank you so much for everything that you have done so far and also for everything that you're going to continue to do because this has been such a challenging year and it has required people to step up and to make a difference and so many people have and tonight really is an acknowledgement of all those differences that so many people have made. We know that the difference volunteering can make to others but it can also make a real significant difference to ourselves and speaking from personal experience I signed up as an NHS responder at the start of the pandemic and I was involved in my local mutual aid group delivering uh, prescriptions to people locally and it just helped me to you know with my own mental health to get out and to have that space and we know from so many studies that have taken place and um, particularly over these recent months about the difference it can make to us um, as individuals as well as the massive contribution it makes to our communities so thank you thank you so much enjoy the celebration you all really deserve it Thank you, of course, to all of our silver sponsors and to Graham Edwards for sponsoring the Outstanding Volunteer Team of the Year Award. For our third award this evening, as we mentioned at the start, this year has really been like no other. Now, because of that, we decided that we had to recognise the amazing work that charities have been doing during the pandemic, often working with all the complications that COVID came with, furlough, shielding, remote working, and of course, many, many other issues. The Investec Award for Innovation in Volunteering during the COVID pandemic showcases the creative, 
often groundbreaking projects that have arisen in the last 12 months. All of our communities depend on the selflessness, enthusiasm and goodwill of our volunteers. Wonderful people who for very different reasons decide to give up their time and give of themselves to help their communities. In the last year, how many of us could have predicted what an absolutely vital role they would play and how important their contributions would be, such as shopping for others who could not shop for themselves, supporting congregants online, sharing their experiences with others, and most critically listening to those who reached out for help working with the professional teams to innovate and create exciting and uplifting online services for adults and children. All of our communities depend on volunteers and some communities only exist because of the dedication of those volunteers. People who believe in building and enhancing Jewish life around the country and supporting those in need. I am so grateful to have the opportunity to praise their efforts publicly and thank those who give so much and who thoroughly deserve to be recognised. Please know that your inspiring efforts are truly appreciated. Thank you. This has been a unique and really difficult year when we've all as individuals faced complex uh, challenges in surviving through the lockdown. But it's also been a rather good year in that the community has come together and people have supported each other through volunteering in making sure that the lonely, the elderly, those who've been forced to shield, those who've been faced particular financial difficulties have had the support. And through the Jewish Volunteering Network, they have, there's been terrific work done by many, many individuals in supporting others within their community. This is a chance through the award scheme to celebrate all those individual acts of kindness and generosity that have supported others so uh, in, in such an important way. And it's a thank you to all of you and a thank you to the organization for the work you do in making sure that everybody has managed to survive through this difficult period. Thank you. Well, now on to our winners who are going to be announced by JVN's president, Roslyn Preston, OBE. I'm delighted to introduce the charity award winners for the innovation in volunteering during the COVID pandemic. AJR, Alith Refugee Drop-In, Best Beginnings, Bushy Synagogue, Camp Simcha, Gift Charity, Goods for Good, Jewish Bereavement Counselling Service, Jewish Blind and Disabled, Jewish Care, JLGB, JW3, Kef Kids, Kisharon, Nightingale Hammerson, Norwood Project Impact Resource The Together Plan United Synagogue There's no greater gift than the ability to help someone else and you all do it without expecting thanks or reward. JVN really is the most precious jewel in our community. And to our volunteers, well, you are the backbone of our community, indeed of our country, especially through this most difficult and challenging of years. So thank you. You inspire me and I know so many others are so deeply grateful for all that you do. 
So enjoy the celebration of you tonight. Congratulations to all the winners who have won trophies here today. What a fantastic job you are doing. I mean, to be outstanding is just phenomenal. So congratulations, well done, and of course, keep up the hard work. Thank you to all of our bronze sponsors and to Investec for sponsoring the Outstanding Innovation in Volunteering During COVID Award. I have nothing but admiration for the army of volunteers working tirelessly in my constituency and across the country. Will the Prime Minister join me in thanking organisations like the Fed, Jewish Volunteering Network, Heads Up and Porch Boxers, along with all those who've done so much to protect the vulnerable and the needy in Presswich, Radcliffe and Whitefield? Mr Speaker, I, I will indeed join my honourable friend in paying tribute to those uh, volunteers in uh, his constituency. Uh, they join a huge constellation of, of, of shining points of light across our country. It's been one of the most extraordinary things, uh, one of the, uh, the consolations, one of the few consolations of this crisis has been the, the upsurge, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, that has been in volunteering. For me, it's a very simple message, and that's one thing. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for everything you continue to do and will carry on doing throughout the pandemic and moving on forward. So thank you. Hello, I'm Rob Jackson, Director of Rob Jackson Consulting Limited, and it's a real pleasure to be playing a small part of this evening's celebration of volunteering. It truly has been amazing to see the way in which volunteers have contributed across our societies, our country and around the world to the support of people, vulnerable people, and everybody that's been impacted by the global uh, pandemic. It's also truly amazing to see the way in which volunteers across the UK are a fundamental part of the rollout of the vaccination programme as well, hoping and helping to get us back to some sort of normal life uh, before this summer. I'm really excited to hear about all the stories of volunteering at the celebration this evening and to see ahead in the coming years how volunteering changes and adapts as a course of the difficult months that we've been through over the course of the last year. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Let's move on now to our fourth award, shall we? The Lifetime Achievement Award for Volunteering. This award is for those 11 wonderful individuals who've dedicated their life to volunteering in and, of course, beyond their community. I am delighted to introduce the award winners for the Lifetime Achievement Award. Eleanor Angel of AJR, Ian Crook of Goods for Good, Ian Fagelson of Norwood, Janet Foster of Jewish Care, Elaine Grazin of Jewish Women's Aid, Sarah Landau of FD UK, Arnold Levin of Langdon, Roslyn Liss of British MUNR, Estelle and Gordon Miller of United Synagogue, Diana Pollins of Wixo UK, Gertie Selmer of Jewish Blind and Disabled. Mazel tov to all those involved in this great evening for the Jewish Volunteering Network. Over 70 nominees and four great award winners. But really the award goes to everybody involved with the Jewish Volunteering Network during such a difficult year. Our community has really risen to the challenge in such difficult times, but none more so than the huge number of volunteers within our entire community and the great work that the Jewish Volunteering Network does in pulling all those people together is shown this evening and, and exhibited through the wonderful award nominees and winners. So shukayach to everybody involved, and please God, next year we'll be able to get together in person and enjoy a very, very special evening. Have a wonderful time and a great evening. Well done to all. Thank you for having me. COVID-19 devastated so much of our lives in 2020. One thing, however, stood out, our humanity to one another. Those acts of kindness and the amazing contribution by so many volunteers. David Lazarus, Zichron Livracha, 
would have been volunteering. He would have been pushing JVN to be as responsive as possible. JVN rose to those challenges. He would have been so proud of JVN. Thank you, David. Thank you, JVN. And thanks to all volunteers who are continuing to contribute to this wonderful effort. Thank you. As mayor, it has been a complete privilege to meet with some of your volunteers. And when I've spoken to them, they nearly always comment that they get so much back from being in the position to help others. So I'm so happy that uh, volunteering is being recognised tonight with the different awards. Um, and I know it's been, as I've said, a very difficult year, um, but all of you deserve a huge thanks. And I look forward to seeing the list of recipients and nominations of, of awards, including the new innovation of volunteering during COVID. Have a wonderful evening. Well done to all the award winners. It is amazing the amount of commitment and dedication that you've given to your charities and of course to the community. I'm now going to ask Daniel Levy, JVN's chairman, to tell us a bit more about the organisation behind tonight's awards and the role it has played this past year, followed by stories from just some of the wonderful volunteers and charities that JVN works with. Now, having heard and seen some of our inspiring volunteers, I just want to tell you a little more about JVN. For me, spirituality comes about caring for others. I find the more that I focus on improving the lives of others, the better I feel. I know I'm speaking to the converted, but it's up to us to spread the word. The better news is that research tells us that volunteers lead happier, and longer lives. I believe JVN has the power to change lives and the many charities that we will that we help. Who ye tain via tenu achrim chasid? He who gives by love and devotion and example causes others to give is indeed the righteous of his generation. Volunteering is at the core. This is why I do it. This is what JVN sets out to do by promoting volunteering in the Jewish community and society at large. Connecting volunteers to opportunities and supporting charities to work in the best way they can with their volunteers. One of the most stimulating moments I had during this pandemic was meeting one volunteer that was young and one that was more in the older age bracket who through JVN found volunteering opportunities that actually resulted in the end in them finding full-time roles and new employment. This is not the end that everyone will be looking for, but it's one of the things that JVN can do. Our role will be crucial in stimulating opportunities, finding roles and supporting a range of communal needs. Charities need volunteers, and volunteers need charity. Wherever there is a need, JVN will be there to support it. It is really so much easier to give than to receive. I could go on for hours, but I won't. I just simply want to congratulate the award winners, particularly those that will receive the highest accolades tonight. But for me, every little bit of volunteering simply makes this world a better place. Thank you to all our volunteers, our workers, our trustees, and our benefactors and donors and sponsors that make all of this possible. Enjoy the rest of the evening and thank you to all once again. This has been a year like no other before. It's been a really challenging time. But one silver lining in this whole situation has been the unbelievable power of volunteering and the impact that it's had on people and on communities. At a time when so much is out of our control, the one thing we can do is help other people. We work with our charity partners to find COVID safe volunteering opportunities. Registrations to volunteer doubled. It seemed like everybody wanted to play their part. Standing outside the cook today's cooking session where 
we've recently reached over 100,000 meals sent out. Uh, I want to say a thank you to JVN for helping us to find volunteers and it's been a massive, massive help. We recruited over 60 new volunteers in a very short space of time who, along with our original volunteers, had to be inducted and trained to ensure they were ready to carry out their role in these unprecedented times. JVN was instrumental in helping us develop a safeguarding policy and attending their online training forums enabled us to put together a professional and comprehensive induction and training programme. We've recruited some amazing volunteers through your organisation, many of whom are now supporting our befriending services. I contacted the Jewish Volunteering Network via their website and they put me in touch with the Ambulance Wish Foundation. They have repurposed their ambulance as a food delivery truck and we're taking uh, Meals on Wheels and surplus food to food banks and people in need. For GIFT, I work four to five times a week, delivering and collecting and shopping for food. When I eventually go back to work, I will continue to volunteer with GIFT, which is an amazing charity. Being in the centre with JVN, seeing how the community has innovated and responded in ways um, to such a crisis situation really has been inspiring. I think there's lots of opportunities that can be fitted into even the busiest of family lives and working lives. I learned over the summer that anyone can volunteer. JVM will try to find a suitable placement to fit your needs. So over the first weekend that we signposted to opportunities to volunteer with charities who were helping the vaccination effort on a local level and a national level, incredibly 5,000 people clicked onto our website to find out what those opportunities are. JVM plays a key role in community engagement in bringing together volunteers with charities who really need them which in turn helps the charity's beneficiaries. So if you haven't yet found your perfect volunteering opportunity, please come to us. We'd love to hear from you. And now it's time to announce the outstanding award winners. Now, in advance of tonight, the independent judging panel chose a winner from each category to recognise them as our overall outstanding award winners. We're very fortunate. We have an extraordinarily strong independent panel of judges, people who give very generously of their time and their own wider experience of volunteering and, and, and understanding of volunteering. So they're able to make good uh, independent re uh, reviews of every nomination. So now we're going to go on and hear who these people are, who we're specially going to celebrate. And I know this is something that you've all been waiting for. And now over to a very special guest, Judge Rob Rinder, to introduce the winner of the Wall Legacy Outstanding Volunteer of the Year Award, together with Kate Goldberg from Wall Legacy. Hello, everybody. Um, this next award recognises volunteers across the Jewish and the wider community. Um, at the heart of our communities, our Jewish communities, is volunteerism. It speaks to the soul, the neshama, the spirit of who we are. Recognise that we as a community are part of a broad family. And within that mishpocha, within that family, we owe a duty to each other, to our community and beyond the reaches of our community. And this next award really recognises who we are at our very best. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the Outstanding Volunteer of the Year Award. Mazel Tov. Good evening. I am Kate Goldberg, Chief Executive of The Wall Legacy, and we are delighted to support JVN with the annual awards. As we saw earlier, all those nominated by their charities are winners and have already received their trophies. Congratulations to one and all. The independent panel of judges considered all the nominations received by JVN for the Volunteer of the Year. On behalf of the Wall Legacy, I am delighted to present the Outstanding Volunteer of the Year to Ruth Green. A huge mazel tov, Ruth. Thank you. It's 
Thank you, UJIA, for nominating me and enabling me to work with such amazing professionals and volunteers over the last 10 years. Volunteering has created an added element in my life. It's been an opportunity to give back to an organization that affected me from my teenage years and helped to develop me. Volunteering has allowed me to give my time to help others on their personal and leadership journeys, to utilize skills and support causes I believe in with people who share that passion. Since I was a teenager, I've been involved in many projects in synagogues, youth movements, national and international charities, and each one I felt a part of a team where I can contribute and have grown as a leader, developed skills, and learned from others. As I've pushed myself beyond my comfort zone, I've grown, and I'm grateful for the opportunities I've had and the teams I've been a part of. During the last year, we've all had to change the way we volunteer. I've been so inspired by many of the COVID responding, self-started, community-based and charity responses. Everywhere, people have identified needs, adapted their program offerings, and it's proved to us all that we've, if we focus on what we want to achieve, we can find different ways to do it. For me personally, the major difference has been communicating virtually and building connections online or through the occasional park walks. Like everyone, I miss the personal connections and the non-verbal clues we rely on, but I've been excited by the ability to connect more widely nationally and internationally, and the ability to invite many more people to virtual events, breaking down the barriers due to distance. Over the years, I've volunteered with many organizations, and my advice for finding and starting the right role would be to think about what you care about and what you enjoy doing. What sort of people do you enjoy being with and what time can you offer and when? Do you enjoy hands-on work with people or do you want to be involved with strategy, leadership, direction or governance? I believe everyone has some time, some skill and some cause that they care about and it's just about finding the right one. Speak to JVN to find matches and also speak to your friends who volunteer about their experience. Above all, enjoy it. Enjoy contributing with others who care about the same things you do. Enjoy the amazing people you'll meet, the shared satisfaction you will get, and the challenges you'll overcome together. Enjoy being part of a creative, thoughtful, reflective, and dedicated team of both professionals and volunteers. Volunteering is about being part of creating those magical experiences. Enjoy it. No one deserves this award as much as Ruth, and no one will hate getting this award as much as Ruth. Ruth has this amazing ability to make everybody feel special and worthwhile. Ruth has inspired us all over the years. She has made us think about really difficult challenges. She has made us think about issues that sometimes other people have been too afraid to bring to the light. Ruth leads by example. She is never afraid to think about and work through anything that has been asked of her. No one deserves this award as much as Ruth Green. I am absolutely delighted that she is being honoured in this way tonight, not only because of the work that she has done for UJA, but also because of the work that she does and I know will continue to do for the wider community. I would also like to thank JVN for giving us the opportunity to honour Ruth Green in this way. Thank you. Many congratulations to our Outstanding Volunteer of the Year winner. And thank you to Rob Rinder and our sponsor, Wall Legacy. We now move on to the Graham Edwards Outstanding Volunteer Team of the Year Award and a very special message to introduce this award from Marie van der Zyl, President of the Board of Deputies of British Jews and from Joan Edwards. During the coronavirus pandemic, volunteers and many new ones have done an incredible amount of volunteering and will continue to do so. We are truly grateful for everything that you have all done. Friends, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the volunteer team of the year. Hello everyone. I'm Joan Edwards and together with Graham Edwards, we're delighted to support JVN for your annual awards. As we saw earlier, all those nominated by their charities are winners and have already received their trophies.
congratulations, everybody. Thank you to you all. The independent panel of judges considered all the nominations received by JVN for the volunteer team of the year. And therefore, on behalf of Graham Edwards, I'm delighted to present the award for the outstanding volunteer team of the year to the United Synagogue Hevra Kadisha, nominated by the United Synagogue. Well done, Mazel Tov, congratulations. The Hevra Kadisha of the United Synagogue is made up of volunteers who give up their time freely. They get a phone call from us to say that somebody has died and they need to be prepared for burial, where a body has to be washed and dressed in the shrouds. The Chevra Kadisha are classed them like the Jewish SAS. They get the call, they come to Bushy or Waldham Abbey, they do what they have to do, and then they leave. No fuss. It's a task that they undertake so because it is holy work. They spend a, around 45 minutes to an hour. And at the end of this, there's a prayer on the wall that asks the deceased for forgiveness if they've done anything to offend them whilst they're cleaning them and dressing them. They don't look for any thanks. They've never done that. And the biggest mitzvah is they're doing this and the deceased can't say thank you. They do it because it is the biggest mitzvah that one can do in preparing somebody for burial. And we are over the moon with the volunteers that we have that give up their time. They truly are, or I believe, there's not a high enough platform to put this group of people on. I'm delighted tonight that JVN is honouring the men and women of our volunteer Chebra Kadisha. It's those people, particularly over the last year, who have been uh, tasked with, as we call the chesed shalemet, the absolute good deed, the deed that can't be thanked by those who are in receive of it, in actually looking after uh, our deceased, in, pre in preparing them for burial. I am delighted that you're able to honour them this evening. In normal circumstances, the men and women have an annual suda where I have been privileged to actually to speak to them each year to convey the thanks of the, the community. And it's really wonderful that we're able to do this in this setting tonight. Thank you very much. Many congratulations to our outstanding volunteer team of the year winners. And thank you to Marie van der Zyl and to our sponsors, Graham Edwards. We now move on to the Investec Outstanding Innovation in Volunteering Award during the COVID pandemic and a very special message of support to introduce this award. For all of us, the last year has thrown challenges that at times may have felt like survival was impossible. But with grit and determination, often without realising it, we have all pivoted our organisations and shown amazing innovation and resilience. During my time setting up Sage Foundation, I realised and now believe all charities must innovate in order to prosper and to grow. When we talk about innovation, we're not just talking about groundbreaking new technology. It's all about doing things in a smarter way. It's about solving challenges and looking outside the box. I am delighted today to introduce you to the finalists for the InvestorTech Innovation in Volunteering Award. Each of these charities has shown amazing innovation in the way that they have delivered COVID-19 volunteering. A few weeks before the first national lockdown, we met as a team and agreed to pull out all the stops and do everything that we possibly could to support and protect our tenants during the forthcoming pandemic. Many of our existing volunteers that we contacted were unable to help us because they themselves were older and vulnerable. So we needed to diversify our volunteer team. Within a few weeks, we'd recruited over 60 new volunteers, people of all ages, to support us with our newly established shopping project, 
befriending service, um, and also um, vo volunteers play quite a vital role in helping tenants to get online, either through their smartphones um, or um, iPads or laptops, some of which we managed to secure for them through the volunteer networks. We have a team of befrienders who are still in regular contact with tenants, and there's some really lovely friendships that have been formed over time. We were struggling to be innovative when it came to volunteering at JBD pre-pandemic. Having turned everything on its head, we know anything is now possible. We've tried to look at the positives that have come out of this past year. And for me, one of those is very much around our community engagement and volunteering. No one was expecting uh, the pandemic, but when we knew lockdown was coming, we knew that we had to be there for young people. All our face-to-face -face services were suspended and we knew we had to move online. JLGB uh, leads the way in digital technology, but we wanted to make sure we could find a way that young people could still have fun, learn new skills, keep volunteering for their awards and boost their positivity and support their parents when schools were closed. Um, so they had something to do and a sense of structure in the evenings. We called in a few favors, asked a few people that supported JLB before. And before we knew it, um, on March 23rd, the day lockdown was called, we ran our first virtual program. And now almost a year later, we've run over a hundred live shows, 350 hours of programming and been supported by the most amazing celebrities who've just come out to help young people. And I can't begin to tell you how proud I am of the staff, the volunteers, the trustees, and the young people, and the young people have led all these shows in front of the camera and behind the camera um, to really show the power of youth and to boost positivity, not just for young people, but for now 3 million people uh, across the world. Uh, moving forward, virtual is clearly uh, an asset that we want to continue. We'll be running our programs every week, and it's going to help those Jewish communities, uh, the smaller Jewish communities uh, out there that need access to provisions that JLGB can provide. Um, and it's also totally transformed the way that we empower young people. Within less than a week from lockdown being announced in March 2020, KEF Services made a rapid switch to providing its high quality services remotely. We have continued to meet our charity aims and to be there for our service users throughout these tough times through a wide range of innovative virtual respite and support services. Despite all the challenges, KEF has thrived over the past year due to the continued partnership between our staff, volunteers and supporters and due to our creative and innovative approach. We are helping more families than ever before, meeting an increasing demand whilst maintaining a high quality service. KEF's timely development of remote respite service support services have provided additional benefits to our traditional face-to-face -face services and KEF aims to continue aspects of this innovation in the coming year. Some key benefits could include enabling those outside of London to participate, removing barriers of transport in particular to our children and young adults who are wheelchair users, offering telephone and video buddies at time when individuals need it most and the unique level of personalised support that was fostered during this time. Bushy Community Cares was set up 24 years ago to support our community and is run by volunteers. When COVID forced us into the first lockdown, we recognised that our community would need extra help, which at that point was not feasible within the infrastructure already established and that we would not be able to cope with the expected demand. We therefore set up our Bushy COVID Coordinators Group, which is run by volunteers. There are seven volunteers within the group, each one covering a day of the week. The aim of this group is to support our community with their physical and mental well-being. By working as a team, we've been able to ensure that every member of our community, regardless of age, has been supported whenever they've needed our help. Looking ahead, we will continue to utilise this amazing group of volunteers so that we're able to lend a helping hand whenever it's needed. Wow, you were all amazing. Thank you all so much for sharing your projects with us. I would now like to introduce Elisa Bayer, Senior Investment Director for Investec, who will announce the overall winner of the Investec Innovation in Volunteering Award. Over to you, Elisa. Good evening, everyone. Um, as Debbie said, I'm Elisa Bear from Investec, and Investec is delighted to be presenting these awards. Our logo is out of the ordinary, and clearly all these charities have certainly innovated and in the last year done things that are not only out of the ordinary, but extraordinary. 
it's been a very difficult task for the judges because each of these charities we feel have incredible merits and instead of actually trying to find one and tie ourselves down that way we are very pleased to say that each of the charities this year will be getting an award for the innovation and wonderful work they've done. As a result of all this, um, we will be presenting, I will be presenting the awards to you. And all we can say is that we hope that you continue to serve the communities in the way you have done and to continue to innovate. Many thanks and congratulations. Mm -hmm. Many congratulations to our Outstanding Innovation in Volunteering winners and thank you to Debbie Wall and our sponsor Investec. Well now to our final award of the evening. We move on to the award for Outstanding Lifetime Achievement in Memory of Judy Citron and a very special message to introduce this award. Well, good evening, and uh, I join you from the heart of the countryside where I'm vaguely locked down, and you find me, as I hope you've never seen me before, in my lockdown onesie, which um, I've got three of these, and I absolutely live in them. I've never worn one before, but I can tell you, if it's got pom-poms and someone is annoying you, you can put those in your ears, and they're also very, very good for uh, cleaning spectacles. So that's my consumer advice for lockdown. But what I really wanted to say was um, how much I appreciate um, the extraordinary efforts and the wonderful achievements made by volunteers right across the vo voluntary sector in every way, delivering services, fundraising, because of course we haven't got charity shops, we haven't got fundraising events during lockdown. So you've become even more precious and valuable than ever. And it's lovely to be able to celebrate your achievements. I know that you're not doing what you're doing because you want to win an award, but um, I know you, you're doing it because you make a difference and you love making a difference and you enjoy the work. I know you do that, but all the same, every now and then it's nice for us to be able to stop and recognize what you've done and to say thank you. So it is my great pleasure to announce that the next award that we're going to present is for the Outstanding Lifetime Achievement. I'm David Citron. My late wife, Judy Citron, was the co-founder of JVN. JVN was a dream of Judy's that through her foresight and hard work became a reality. The family's thanks go to the entire JVN team, having made Judy's dream such a success. I, together with the Sefton and Sivan families, am delighted to support JVN for your annual awards. As we saw earlier, all those nominated by their charities are winners and have already received their trophies. Congratulations and thanks to you all. The independent panel of judges considered all the nominations received by JVN for the Lifetime Achievement Award. On behalf of the Citron, Sefton and Sivan families, I'm delighted to present the Outstanding Lifetime Achievement Award to Elaine Grazin, nominated by Jewish Women's Aid. I've, um, I've always been a volunteer um, for many different organisations, whatever the pressures of my career or family have put me under, but um, Jewish Women's Aid is something special in my volunteering life. <clears throat> I've been a volunteer for Jewish Women's Aid for more than 35 years, I realize, and I was one of the founder members. So it wasn't that I got involved with JWA, it got involved with me, or it got me involved. So back in the 1980s, when I was living in Leeds and I was uh, on the management board of Leeds Jewish Housing Association, we realized that we, we re were receiving applications for housing from women who'd had to leave a husband or partner because of bullying and violence and the housing association could find them somewhere to live, but couldn't offer anything more than that. And there was absolutely no dedicated provision in England or in the United Kingdom to help Jewish women experiencing domestic violence. I think because no one realized that it happened. Our, um, our very respected, respected colleague, the late dynamic academic Sheila Saunders had done research into domestic violence in Israel and 
she was the inspiration for a small group of us to get together and discuss what we could do about it. And eventually in 1985, with a tiny startup grant for, from the local authority, thanks to Sheila Saunders' ability to, to get money out of a stone, I think, we set up a telephone helpline. We were all volunteers. We were working on a shoestring and we couldn't offer anything other than just a listening ear, someone to listen to Jewish women who could talk to us in complete confidence. And the two big things for us to do were to be there for women who needed us and to raise awareness of what was at that time very much a hidden problem. That was a long time ago. We registered JWA as a charity. And like some of the other women who were there from the start, I am still volunteering for JWA, particularly now they supporting helpline volunteers and helping with awareness raising, which is still important. Um, campaigns like Ida or International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. And um, uh, I'm, I'm proud that when I look around now, I can see that what we started as amateurs is now a national organization with a very high profile, with a fantastic professional team providing help to women and children who are escaping from violence, with counseling, education on safer relationships, alongside a large team of volunteers who work in a number of roles and supported by a volunteers coordinator. Um, as long as there are still women in the Jewish community who are being bullied and coerced and controlled and subject to physical violence and needing help, I think JWA needs to be there to support them. I've been able to use my professional skills over the years and to acquire new skills through ongoing training from the charity. Um, and volunteering has given me the very special privilege of working with wonderful people within JWA, women from different places and different ages across the spectrum of religious observance, but all of us with a common purpose. And I've learned over the years so that if each one of us does a little bit as a volunteer, then together we can make a difference. Elaine is an inspirational woman. She's dedicated much of her life to ensuring that Jewish women who are experiencing domestic abuse are able to find a soft landing and professional sympathetic support at Jewish Women's Aid. She's ensured that all our helpline volunteers were trained to listen, to believe and to offer appropriate advice. Elaine's quiet, intelligent leadership has inspired our trustees, volunteers and staff. She's very humble and has never expected praise or thanks for all of her years of hard work. During the pandemic, Elaine has continued to volunteer her time and expertise in the knowledge that our services are desperately needed by so many women. We're so incredibly grateful to Elaine for the dedication, commitment and leadership she's shown over many years at Jewish Women's Aid. Through her, we have been able to support thousands of women. Thank you, Elaine, so much. Huge congratulations to our outstanding Lifetime Achievement winner. Now, very sadly, we've come towards the end of our awards, and I'd like to congratulate everyone who has won an award tonight. You are all amazing and a true inspiration to us all for everything that you do. And to close tonight's event, I'd like to hand over now to JVN CEO, Nikki Goldman, who will also introduce the new inductees into the Joy and Stanley Cohen Hall of Fame. It's been lovely being with you this evening. I wish you all the very best of health and hope to see you next year. Good night. Thank you so much, Natasha, for hosting tonight's JVN Celebration of Volunteering Awards. We really appreciate your support and we thank you very much. We've heard such wonderful stories tonight of volunteering and volunteer engagement. And these are some of literally hundreds and thousands of volunteering stories from this past year and before that. We thank everybody so much who's volunteered and also all those volunteer managers who enable us to do so every day of the year. Tonight, as we come towards the end of our event, we would like to induct into the Joy Ann Stanley Cohen Hall of Fame last year's outstanding award winners. They were Dmitry Raziev, nominated by GIFT, Harry Heber, nominated by World Jewish Relief, and the Jewish Women's Aid Helpline Team. They'll all be receiving certificates and you can find out more about them on the JVM website. 
One special group of people that I'd like to give special thanks to tonight are the JVN volunteers from 2020 and 21. Thank you for everything all of you do. We simply couldn't do this without you. And now for a special JVN award of the evening. And I'm going to hand back to Ros Preston, our wonderful president. And now for our very own award to JVN's outstanding volunteer of 2020, our chairman, Daniel Levy. Daniel was willing and able to step up to the plate and take over the role of chairman following the tragic death of our much loved David Lazarus. And David continued in his role as fundraiser supremo and with utter determination and dedication, he has proceeded as chairman of the organisation to inspire and to lead the entire team through this last difficult 12 months. Daniel, we thank you, we congratulate you and name you as our outstanding volunteer of the year. Thank you, Ros, and thank you, Daniel. To close, I'd like to thank many people who've made tonight happen. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the JVN team, our staff and volunteers, who have pivoted and innovated to make this event come alive online. Thanks especially to Josh, to Joe, to Leslie, to Debbie, to Mike, to Katie and to Caroline and to all the team. Thank you for what you do year round and especially for what you've done for tonight. Thank you to Daniel, Roz and to all the trustees for your support. Thank you to Dame Mary Marsh and to the independent judging panel for the thoughtful work that you did. Thank you to our charity partners and especially to the volunteer managers for celebrating your volunteers with us. Thanks to those who sent messages and thank you very much to our sponsors and to our donors. You can see details about them on jvnawards.org.uk. We really appreciate all of your support. Thanks and well done to the charity award winners and to the outstanding award winners. Thank you for everything you do for volunteering all year round. And finally, thank you to each of you and every one of you for joining us tonight. We really wanted to fill this virtual room with warmth and love and support to show volunteers how much they are valued and appreciated. And hundreds of you have joined us today to do so. Thank you so much. We dedicated these awards to David Lazarus, our beloved and much missed former chair who passed away last year at the start of the pandemic. David believed that everyone could and should volunteer. So in his merit, we would like to ask each of you, whether you're volunteering at the moment or not, to volunteer at least once more in 2021. There are many details of lots of opportunities on our website, www.jvn.org.uk. Please have a look, find your perfect role and be in touch. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and good night.